Okay guys, so watching Muddy Muddy Mudman's alternator axial flux alternator videos is actually making me want to build my own. So I think I'm gonna do that, but on a much smaller scale. I drew up this quick quick diagram. This is just eight magnets and six coils. But because I I don't have a the brakes car brakes or whatever those are. So I think I'm actually going to use some saw blades. This old saw blade right here. Got another one. Just like this. So I might actually use those those instead of something much bigger. Just for my first one to see how it works. And they're about 7 inches or so. And right here I drew up 8 magnets with 6 coil positions. But it's actually... These magnets look kind of small for this size of a thing, so I might actually just do 12 coils and 9 magnets. Let me let me know what you guys think if I should do 8 coil, 8 magnets or 12 magnets. But um, I'm, I've also been working on my ceiling fan, ceiling fan motor. And in my last video, I was going to use a piece of cardboard to mark out where the magnet should go. But instead, I knocked off the other piece, the other uh, shell to this motor, and stuck stuck the one that had the banding on. So I'm actually just gonna run it, run straight off these lines, right, right there, to draw up where the magnet should go. And then that'll be the next step on this one. My other motor, I'm actually working on building a mount, a mount for it, so I can get some blades. I still need to carve some metal, some some wooden blades or make some metal ones out of some thin sheet metal but it's pretty strong too anyways I'm running out of memory on this right now so I'm gonna have to record again So back to the axial flux alternator that I'm going to be making. I think for this one I'm going to do 8 magnets and 6 coils just because I'm going to be using this wire. I, I, this, is, this is the wire that I got out of an old TV a long time ago. It's actually, it's actually two wires per lead. But I'm going to use this wire for this one just because it's going to be a test one. This is like all the stuff I'm going to use for this one is going to pretty much be free. But um I'm probably going to do 100 100 turns on each coil. I don't know. It I'm not totally good at making these, but um how many turns should I do with eight magnets and six coils? I'm probably going to use this for for low speed like 150 RPM most because I'm going a, I'm to a use it for a bot that I'm going to make um, it'll probably be a few feet tall on each blade, three blades uh, lens lens one I've seen a few videos with those and they're pretty they look pretty efficient but um let me know how many, how many turns I should use and all that information that any of you guys can give me but um thanks for watching